Why didn't you tell me, brother? Baz asks. We're on the terrace of his and Lola's duplex penthouse at the Steel Tower. My baby girl and I flew in yesterday for Lola and Star's joint virtual baby showers, viewed via giant screens Haley and Harris installed. Star has hers in the garden at her Benedict Canyon Drive mansion in Beverly Hills. The family split attendance at both, with Star's parents present too, along with my baby girl and me, Blair and Luc Montaigne, Lola's mentor, and the Parisian multi-billionaire head of his family's multi-generational Banque Montaigne empire, gather on the terrace. The others sit in the garden with Star and Malcolm. Lucien provided the mama's favorite dishes from his restaurants in both cities for their lunches. One of his pastry chefs created lifelike and tasty cakes in the shape of a cradle. Of course, they oohed and odd over them. He's such the charmer. During a break in the games Blair led, Baz takes the opportunity to question me. More than likely, since I avoided him over the last few weeks, not wanting to out-and-out out lie to my best friend. Hell, it was bad enough being evasive with my mother, who seemed to pick up on my baby girl's absence. I shake my head and sigh. Do you tell me everything that happens between you and Lola? I ask, then continue when he shakes his head. Well, Haley is my wife, and I don't go around discussing our relationship with anyone either, not even to my best friend. Baz stares at me for a moment, then nods in understanding. I can respect your decision, he says. Then his eyes slide to Lola, where she sits with my baby girl. I have to tell you, Haley was a disaster these last few weeks. She thought she could hide it from me, especially since she traveled a lot. But I know my baby sister. She was stressed and unhappy. I got the truth out of her and told her she was wrong this time. 